Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 Summer Event starts today. It's gonna start from July 14th, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, all the way to August 16th, 3 a.m., maybe 2 a.m. Eastern Time. So it's gonna end around when Season 3 ends. So it's gonna last for the rest of the season. And it's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be called All Sweat Summer. And this is gonna be uh, all the quests and rewards that are gonna be unlocking in this new event. So the first three rewards they're gonna be unlocking, which are uh, basically uh, all summer themed, of course, obviously. So it's gonna be three things that are gonna be unlocking. It's gonna be a wrap, which is the one right here on the right in the middle there's going to be uh the uh glider and of course in the left we're going to have the backlink so the backlink is called deck ducky the glider is called uh summer sail shark and the wrap is going to be called water level so the first uh, like reward we're going to be unlocking is going to be the water levels wrap and it should be animated meaning that whenever you shoot a weapon this level of water as the name implies is going to increase slowly the more you shoot so that's how it should work hopefully it stays the same hopefully they don't like <laughs> throw away the idea the next reward is going to be the summer sale shark we already had this shark as a um like a, as a cosmetic in the item shop you can buy it whenever the summer uh, uh, event like starts uh, but this is like a reskinned version of it as you can see you have like a bunch of palm trees all around it's basically a summer themed summer sale shark that's what it is and then finally the final reward is going to be the duck ducky backlink which is literally just a uh, like a duck <laughs> like a rubber duck on top of a board and it's going to have three total styles the first style is going to be this one right here on the left which is the watermelon style as you can see you have like watermelon patterns on it uh the default style is going to be the yellow ducky which is like the famous one and then of course we have a pink flamingo ducky with yellow eyes which is kind of creepy so these are going to be the three edit styles that are going to be unlocking throughout the uh like the the levels themselves and of course the quest line itself now for the quests themselves they're kind of really easy to do they're all about like surviving and getting eliminations there's no real like summer themed qu uh, quest in my my opinion we're gonna go through them one by one right here so the quest line is going to be called sweat drops as you can see right here so the first quest is going to be to reach the top 50 players in zero build next one is to reach the top 50 players in battle royale so both modes you have to play them and get top 50 next one is to survive circles after eliminating a player you need to basically eliminate a player as soon as the game starts and then it's going to start counting your uh, storm survival uh, basically like every circle that you survive is going to count towards one of these right here it's going to be one out of ten two out of ten so on and so forth next one is to simply reach top 25 so just play until you hit top 25 headshot players in ranked or reload reload is the new mode if you want to play it so it, it's either re ranked or reload they're both uh really really sweaty and a lot of sweats are playing there so it's going to be hard either way so you just need to headshot them 10 times which is not easy next one is to survive storm circles after eliminating a player same thing reach top 10 players damage players uh, beyond 40 meters uh, survive storm circles after eliminating a player reach top five players so this one you really you really want to have a really uh, awesome game to get like all of these rewards there is even a victory royale quest by the way we're going to get to it so eliminate players in ranked or reload eliminate like 20 players in total survive storm circles after eliminating a player again then win a victory royale this one is not the easiest thing to do but this one is the, this is the one that's much much harder win a crowned victory royale meaning that you need to get a victory royale have your uh, like victory royale crown on you and then keep that crown and get another victory royale so you basically need to get two victory royales in succession which is not easy at all i don't think i've ever had that I've, yeah, yeah i've had that before i've had like two victory royales uh, like in a row and i thought i was super lucky like i only had that one time in like my four years of playing fortnite i never really tried to get two victory royales successively uh but yeah this is <laughs> this is what you need to do not not successively consecutively that's the word so uh, uh yeah basically the next uh quest is going to be to survive storm circles after you meet a player again collect a victory crown so basically you eliminate somebody who has a crown take their victory crown then win a victory royale while on a wastelander challenge so around the map you're gonna find these wastelander challenges and you basically just go to one of them there's i think four or five in total and it's going to give you a really really hard quest to complete uh these are uh like they really hinder your uh, your play style because some of them are going to ask you to keep moving because if you stop moving even for a second you will take five damage i tried this one it's super super hard uh, uh also you can uh get yourself like killed if you reload you can get yourself killed if you touch the ground all of that like you just keep losing hp whenever you do something that you usually do uh, one of them uh, literally jams your weapons so you shoot the entire clip of your magazine like be it an smg or an ar and then you can no longer use that weapon you just have to throw it away it's one of the easier one because you can just keep swapping weapons but it's super hard because you can never really have a good weapon on you so if you want to know where these wastelander challenge beacons are uh, i believe i already made a video on it just write noob noob fruit wastelander challenge and you will find a video on it showcasing you all the locations so you can just use that as a guide 
Next is to survive storm circles after eliminating a player. Next one is to break a sweat by frantically crouching 10 times in 25 seconds. Oh, I like this one, man. <laughs> I really like this one. Okay, I might make a video on this one just because it's super funny. Break a sweat by frantically crouching 10 times in 25 seconds. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next is to hit an enemy player with three different weapons. So just have three different weapons like an SMG, an AR, and a shotgun. And just hit a player with all three. So just, just try not to kill them, okay? So just one shot per uh, per weapon. Next is to survive storm circles after eliminating a player. So this one is going to be a repeated one. So you just keep uh, eliminating people and just surviving over and over again. Next one is to capture the floating loot island. Again, later in the game, whenever you reach like the third or fourth storm circle, a floating loot island is going to appear in the air. And you can, you can go there and just stand in the middle next to the flag for 45 seconds. If nobody interrupts you, you will capture the island. That's how it works. Next is to damage different players in ranked reload before they damage you so you basically have to be the aggressor just look for players and just damage them also by the way these quests each of them is going to give you 25 xp which is a lot like 25k plus like four of them is uh, uh 200k so it's a lot of xp they're going to be grinding for the season next is survive storm circles again after limiting a player uh, next one is to secure forecast data from a forecast tower. I already made a video on this. Just write Nubler Fruit, secure forecast data. It will show you exactly where to go and how to do it. Next one is to damage players within 10 meters. So you have to be really, really close. Highly recommend using a melee like the gauntlets or maybe a shotgun. And just get really, really close and just, you know, damage players. It's super easy to do. Next is to, again, survive storm circles after eliminating a player. Next one is to collect medallions. Ooh, this one is kind of tough. So you need to eliminate... Uh, any of the three bosses right now that, that exist in the game well, two of them i believe roam some of them it's just one of them who like roams around the map uh using a uh, like a, a, a buffed up car and the war bus and the other one is going to be a stationary one which you can find in the nitro dome so it's up to you of course which medallions that you have to uh, you want to pick up also you can uh, like play until late game and uh, honestly most late game players they drop their medallions they get killed really really easily people don't really go that much for the medallions so you can actually pick it up that way might, might be easier next is to collect bars from eliminated players in ranked or reload it's just you know whenever you eliminate somebody they're gonna drop a, a bunch of gold bars you go ahead and collect those gold bars from them next is to survive storm circles at an eliminating a player again uh, we're gonna stop reading this one <laughs> next one is to sweat more by jumping 10 times in 20 seconds okay these these are kind of fun man i'm i'm, I'm try i'm i'm gonna try to uh, make a video on this one and the previous one and probably this one as well slide kick a player <laughs> i've never seen somebody slide kick someone on purpose man it's always something that happens on accident so slide kick a player is definitely a must so this one of course i'll make a video on it so survive storm circles after eliminating oh my i read it again emote within 15 meters of an enemy player okay pretty easy just get close to somebody and just emote it doesn't have to be like a long emote just press b once and it should count next is to thank the bus driver in ranked or reload so whenever you start a game when you're inside the bus make sure to press your emote button for me as a pc player it's b so i just press b and it counts as thanking the bus driver you see a small announcement right here at the bottom left corner saying that you have thanked the bus driver and finally again for the nth time survive storm circles after eliminating a player man this is going to be uh, very hard to do so as far as the milestones go these are going to be it so when you complete all sweat summer quests 10 of them in total you will get the wrap as you can see when you complete 15 you will get the glider and when you complete 20 you will get yourself this backpack right over here and again this is a closer look at all three rewards again it's not really that amazing i i miss the times when they would give us like a like a really cool reward like a, i don't know a cool pickaxe maybe a, a character they haven't give us given us like a <laughs> like a fortnite character as a reward in such a long time and i really miss that man i wish they would bring that back uh again this is going to be the newest version of fortnite summer it's still better than last year in my opinion last year was so so bad it was i believe in fortnite chapter 4 season 3 i think so it was really really bad and this one is at least it's much better especially with reload around the corner and yeah i'm just looking forward to it it's gonna go live in a few seconds from now so go in hop on it's gonna it's gonna take a while by the way to complete all of these quests and they're probably not gonna drop them all the way uh, uh, like all of them on the same day it's gonna be like a drip by drip <laughs> like method so every couple of days they're gonna add like a bunch of quests so yeah feel free Free to just play as much as you can just grind these quests get yourself some xp and of course enjoy the final rewards let me know what you guys think about this season's uh summer event i'm gonna give it a solid six out of ten honestly just because these rewards are cool and the reload uh like the reload map is here so that's awesome but other than that it's really it's not that amazing like honestly i'm gonna give it a, a buck with you uh but yeah that's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more content like this thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.